A district is the second largest district in the state with 39 schools, 44 buildings, and approximately 30,000 students. We're excited to take part in this Merge case study to highlight all the exciting things our teachers and students are doing in regards to augmented and virtual reality. Augmented and virtual technologies are integrated into curriculum content where students can design virtual worlds and explore new interests. At its inception, this was launched as a district program, not just a one classroom experiment. So we also wanted something with a track record that has some proof points and utilizing the Merge Cube with the Merge EDU program was our best choice. As a teacher, you're always looking for new and exciting ways to engage your students and bring your lessons to life. And I felt like this was the perfect opportunity. And it was great uh, for the students to have a 3D virtual reality type of lesson for the classroom and bring our science lessons to life. I find that the students overall have become much more engaged in their curriculum. It's innovative and the kids love to see the science come to life. The tangibility of it when you're using the cube along with the lessons that are in the platform is dynamic. It makes the students in charge of their own learning. It gives them the chance to be creative, innovative, analyze and create things on their own and be in control of everything that they're doing and learning in the classroom. Thank you for the opportunity to highlight our teachers and students. I will turn it over to Ms. Ellen Ruin, Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction, who can go into more details about the Jersey City eMERGE initiative. The Department Science and Math teams work diligently on planning an initiative that would incorporate both content areas, technology, and ultimately a culminating STEM project. They presented to me the idea of augmented and virtual reality using the Merge Cube to engage students in an alternative way to learn difficult concepts. Ms. Nancy Massoud, our mathematics supervisor, will now discuss in detail the tools the students utilize for the Emerge initiative. Augmented reality has a significant impact on learning in terms of student engagement, content understanding, and most importantly, retention. What was different about using augmented reality with the Merge Cube to comprehend and retain difficult concepts was that the students being able to immerse themselves in the hands-on experience. The Merge Cube allowed the students to hold in their hands what they were learning. By seeing it, manipulating it, and engaging with the lessons, students were able to retain the information at a much higher level. This was evident when we analyzed our pre and post assessment data that focus on specific lessons teachers taught using the Merge EDU platform. In the first year of the program, we incorporated Merge EDU in 10 schools across the district. Once we did a demonstration of the Merge EDU platform and the Merge Cube, administrators and teachers were eager to get started. Whenever I walk into a room and the students have their cubes out, um, there's just a buzz in the room. Finally, finally, they're, they're actually integrating technology with education. I've been a firm believer that students learn well when technology is incorporated and they get to see the water cycle, the body system in their hands. It's right in front of them. They are more engaged. There is a lot of collaboration and they're very happy. They're excited. They're sad when the lesson is over. My, as you can see, my students love working with the merge cubes instead of moaning or groaning they would enthusiastically ask are we going to use the cubes today will we be doing the ipads today uh will we be doing virtual reality today it was really great instead of us having to wrangle the kids to get them into learning mode the kids were chasing us and actively asking if we would be doing science that day uh, the pros and cons of what the students are using um, students it, it's just excitement the cons is basically that they don't have enough time to continue using it. All of these ways, it prepares the students for the future and everything about it makes academics more fun when they're using the cubes. I find that this program allows students who don't normally excel in language arts and math are really doing well with this. 
After being on virtual instruction for the past 18 months, I'm finally seeing a love of learning back in the children's lives. Students who are normally quiet and shy are engaging in higher order thinking discussions with their peers. They're opening up and they're taking on leadership roles within their groups. Kids are going above and beyond researching topics on their own time and bringing it into the classroom. When we were looking to purchase resources and devices for an AR VR STEM initiative, we had to obviously be mindful of the cost effectiveness of any learning tool. One thing that helped us select Merge EDU is that it did not require us to buy expensive new devices that would only be used for this AR VR. With Merge EDU, we can use the devices that we already have selected for the broader program, in this case, iPads. Students involved in this initiative completed a pre-assessment. The questions for this assessment were taken directly from the Merge EDU quizzes. After completing the required lessons, students were given the same assessment as a post-test. These results were analyzed to determine the effectiveness of the Merge EDU lessons. The results showed that 81% of the students showed growth from the pre to the post-test. So all in all, we were proud of the initiative that we created. I guess it's nice that people tell us that it's innovative, such as being one of the larger rollouts of AR anywhere. But we aren't trying to be innovative for its own sake. We are trying to continuously build cost-effective programs that actually get positive learning outcomes. That's our job here. And we're already seeing Merge EDU be a major factor in helping us achieve that. As a district, we are excited about the success of this initiative, and we're looking forward to expanding the program next year. 